President Obama's go-it-alone strategy may not move the needle much on the economy, but the same approach has served him well on foreign policy, delivering a string of stunning victories overseas. And the story is in the current issue of National Journal. Ron Fournier is editor-in-chief and joins me now. This is Michael Hirsch's story about uh, how yeah. well the president has done, this is Michael's take, on foreign policy, even though we have to say the economy is what is really going to drive the needle on the election. Yeah, Michael did what he does all the time, which is take a unique take on the story. He points out that uh, going back to 2002, when Barack Obama was among the first to uh, warn about dumb wars, specifically the war in Iraq, that he has been very steady and very confident in his views on foreign policy. And it shows as a leader, as commander in chief, he's made a lot of really solid steps as commander in chief. He uh, seems to have a lot less confidence on the economy. And that again shows he relies a lot more on his advisors on the economy, and some of their ill advice has left him in the political strait that he's in now. And do you think that the, the foreign policy will end up being the, the legacy narrative that comes out of this White House? Well, who can tell, you know, what the history books are going to say, but, uh, you know, the, the, the most pressing question he's got in front of him right now is how is he going to win an election? next year and he's going to be judged you know uh, as michael says and most people believe on the economy and that's 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 really hurting him right now in the long view you got to think that somebody who took out bin laden who put together a coalition to take out Gaddafi, uh... you know just got three trade packs through uh, th three trade packs through that he's done a fairly good job on foreign policy and it, it probably will help him on the margins next year it does show some strength of leadership in tough times but if he doesn't make progress on the economy, or at least show that he is more confident and more control, more of a leader on the economy, he's going to have some problems. So if he could learn a little bit from what he's, what he's put into the foreign policy and translate that into at least a perception of leadership on the economy, he would be a lot better off. Okay, Ron Fournier from National Journal, thanks for joining us.